Hey everybody, this is one of several case studies that we are going to be posting for you all to see the power and the value of a correct, correctly created website and the right SEO behind that website. So we are going to take a look at this home care SEO case study, home care SEO case study for an independent home care agency. That means they are not a franchise, they are family owned and operated, and they are not affiliated with any other home care agencies. They are located in Sacramento, California. They have been in business since about 2002 and, or 2003, 2002, I think. And uh, they have um, a nice business. So they're not and brand new to the industry, uh, but what had happened over time is that they had let their current website kind of get neglected. It was kind of old. It had new content going to it, but it really needed an overhaul. It needed an overhaul of its, you know, for face value, but also a behind the scenes, um, you know, and it was slow and it was, you know, some of this stuff was just outdated. So it really needed a facelift, but it also needed the internal workings to be updated as well. Um, they have a lot of competition, as you can imagine. This is a state of California, so it doesn't really matter where you are. You're going to have a lot of competition, um, but they have a successful business. They really wanted to get more organic, not paid, but organic search traffic. So this is not a result of Google ads or buying leads or whatever. This is strictly people finding their website online. So as of February of 2022, that's actually today, um, as when I ran these numbers, their organic traffic has increased by 4,500% over the previous quarter. Now that's over a quarter, not over a month. So after three months of being live with their new website, our team, um, Approves Your Network's home care website and home care SEO solutions have significantly bolstered the client's visibility, traffic, and performance in their local area. So this is comparing August through November of 2021. So last year, three months to the most recent 90 days, meaning this past November through today, February 14, 2022. Organic search over the last three months um, is, has gone, it says gone up 6,583%. So right now they're at uh, organic searches at 1,200 1, um, on the organic search. Now that's over three months. That's not in one month. Just keep that in mind. And then direct traffic, but that's normal. That's great for a home care agency. That is a normal, good amount of traffic. That is a, um, that's what you would normally see, you know, maybe 500 searches a month. And it's almost on the high end. Not everybody needs home care every day and not everybody's searching out websites for home care every day. So you're not going to get thousands and thousands of searches unless something is wrong or people are searching you out for the wrong reasons, which we've seen many times, um, you, people are searching you out because of the services you offer over three months. That's a perfectly good number. Um, direct traffic, meaning people knew what their website was. People knew what their website address was and kind of just went to it and they have a really easy website address and they have good branding. So having good branding in your local area is super important. Um, organic social, that means um, coming from Facebook or coming from another organic social place on the line, Twitter or whatever. Referral means a website refers to your website. So somebody was on one website and then boop, uh, clicked on a link and went to your website because it was, you know, part of that article or whatever. Unassigned means Google's not going to tell us, and organic video means they got a hit off of an organic video. Yay. I can't show you their keyword phrases um, because that's private to them. Uh, you would know your own keyword phrases, but we don't share our clients' data. But what I want you to see is that on November 17th, back, this is uh, back in November, um, three months ago, so it's about 90 days ago, this is where they started out with some of these keyword phrases. Now, these are your typical keyword phrases. As you might imagine, home care, home care assistance, companion home care, personal care, um, Alzheimer's home care, senior home care, uh, you know, you name it, your really normal keyword phrases. This is kind of how they looked. 
and this is kind of how they are today. So you can see the increase. This came up 37 spots. So they're on the first page of Google. And uh, for lots of these keyword phrases, there's actually 80 total keyword phrases. I didn't show all of them here because it would be a long, long list of nothing that you can't because you can't see the keyword phrases. So I just gave you kind of the first half of the page or less. Um, and this is still a work in progress. Do I want them to be number nine on the first page of Google? No, I want them to be number one on the first page of Google. You're never going to be number one for every single keyword phrase, but we can get you to the number one, two, three, four spot. And this is not just for the city of Sacramento. This is for all of the cities around them as well uh, that are important to them. So this is an excellent result. All right, so the challenge, this home care agency teamed with us because it was not seeing results with their old website. Um, they didn't have, they had a nice website, but it wasn't meeting Google's requirements for 2022 as far as all the different rules and things that Google puts out every once in a while, it just needed to be updated. That's all there was to it. The majority of, it, of their new patients came from referral, our clients came from referrals, other, from other health, referrals from other healthcare professionals. Majority of their clients came from referrals from other healthcare professionals. That's normal for you all. You get most of your referrals from other healthcare professionals, but they were only getting like 10 to 20% of their new leads and clients were coming from inbound marketing. And we wanted to change that and up that game. We want that to be 20, 30, 40% of their new leads. The number of leads reported also varied dramatically from their total active list. So they would get people filling out forms or making phone calls more likely, but they were either job seekers. I'm not saying you don't need job seekers, but in this case, they were either job seekers or clients who did not qualify for private pay services. And so those were wasted times and phone calls a lot. Um, so we tried to correct that with their new website and make sure that the callers that are calling in are calling in for a specific reason and any job seekers are directed to the right place for job seeking. So what did we do? We created a new website using old content, but adding long form pages of new content. Meaning we wrote out, so if you have a page on your website that talks about your services and it's like a paragraph and a bulleted list like this, that's not gonna cut it anymore. That's not it. You have to have an entire page written. And so we did that for their services. We created some location pages uh, that were really long. So if you um, are in Sacramento, but you want to rank for Fair Oaks, California, which is like the next town over, then you need to have a lot of information on a page about Fair Oaks and the services you provide there. You need to have a map. You need to have some other things that tell Google and tell your potential client that yes, you're great at serving Fair Oaks. We added advanced schema code to all the pages to tell Google. Google doesn't look at this pretty stuff on a website. It reads the code behind the scenes. So what we do to the code is we use something called schema, which is geeky, nerdy language that tells Google what it wants to see and read. It wants to know things about you. So we give it the information that it really wants. Most websites do not give enough information to Google to help it understand everything you do and who you are. Um, we, give, we usually give very minimal information, but when you do advanced schema, you're giving it more information that's um, called entity related and organizational related information. We implemented tracking of all forms through our, our CRM. So everybody's website that we do now, they have forms on their website, of course, contact us, get started. Uh, and, and all those, they are, they are all created in our CRM. So every time somebody fills out a form, that human person is automatically added to your newsletter list. They're automatically, you're automatically notified that you have a new lead and all those things. We created videos and properties that contribute to off-page SEO and contribute high domain authority backlinks from reputable sources. So you don't want to ever go to Fiverr or somewhere like that and buy links, backlinks. What we did was we created some very high domain authority um, backlinks uh, and created some properties that Google likes. Google likes it when you use Google stuff. It likes it when you use Amazon stuff. And I don't mean Amazon like shopping, I mean other Amazon stuff. So we created some properties on those sources that already instantly have a great reputation. Um, and we 
created those properties for the client so that off page they would have some more um, high quality backlinks. And press releases are a good example of that. Not every press release, but the way we do it and the way it's put out there helps tremendously. Our staff ran a review of the client's organic presence and keyword strategy, and we made some changes. So we made some changes recently to our keyword list and things that we do for home care, and we implemented those. And of course, we regularly monitor organic rank, site speed, and other SEO on-page and off-page strategies so that we are keeping up with what Google wants. Um, ongoing work. So SEO strategies do not stop once the client reaches their goals. Now this client hasn't reached every goal, but they're well on their way and we knew it was worthy of a case study. So our ongoing work for this client includes monthly blog posting, they have an e-newsletter that goes out to potential clients and referral sources, social media management, all of their images that we put on social media are branded to them with their logo, their website, and their phone number. We have created videos for them. They have had us enhance their Google My Business, which is an integral part of this. Client check-ins and consultations help us know where things are with our clients. So we make sure that we offer that up regularly. And we view the analytics and rankings for certain keyword phrases. So that is ongoing work that is always, always happening with our clients when they're in our advanced SEO program. So I just wanted to share this case study with you. This is uh, a case study that can apply to pretty much any home care agency. Uh, and if you've been around a while, but your site is getting old, or even if it's like a Wix or a Weebly, it might be time to have an overhaul. And to see these results means you're going to get more phone calls. You're going to get more leads. This is what happens when you have an excellent website somebody has to be paying attention to it and doing all the things that we do behind the scenes so that your phone is ringing more often. Hope that helps. This is an SEO case study for home care for an independent home care agency in Sacramento, California. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.